Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sarah Sanders told to leave restaurant because of Trump. They never expected her response. This has to be the saddest news we've had to report in a while. The American left has definitely become unhinged in a way that we haven't even seen since the days George W. Bush was busy trying to rid our world of murderous dictators. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was actually thrown out of a Virginia restaurant on Friday evening because she works for President Trump. This makes her just the latest Trump official to be thrown out of a restaurant because of the mere fact of who they work for. TMZ later reported that Sanders was kicked out of the restaurant, the Red Hen in Lexington, Virginia on what they called moral grounds. TMZ also quoted a waiter who said that Sanders was served for a total of two minutes before my owner kicked her out along with seven of her other family members. Sanders later confirmed this on Twitter. When word of this got out people started flooding the phone lines. The calls to the restaurant went to voicemail, which was obviously full. The outrage was so bad that a panic tweet from the Red Hen in Washington, D.C., which has no affiliation whatsoever with the Red Hen Lex went out making sure word got out that they had nothing to do with the incident. Apparently these are the owners of the Red Hen. Via USA Today White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was asked to leave a restaurant in Virginia Friday night by the business owner because of her connection to President Donald Trump, Sanders acknowledged Saturday on Twitter. Last night I was told by the owner of Red Hen in Lexington, Virginia to leave because I work for a POTUS and I politely left, Sanders tweeted. Her actions say far more about her than about me. I always do my best to treat people, including those I disagree with, respectfully and will continue to do so. The restaurant's Facebook page was inundated with posts supporting Sanders and deriding the restaurant in Lexington, about a three-hour drive southwest of Washington, D.C. Calls to the restaurant were routed to a voicemail box that was full. It was the second night in recent days that a member of the Trump administration was hounded from a restaurant. On Tuesday, protesters heckled Department of Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen as she ate at an upscale Mexican restaurant in Washington. She, too, left the restaurant. The demonstrators jeered and family separation, referring to the policy that Trump reversed on Wednesday. The policy had required that adults arrested trying to cross the U.S. border illegally be criminally prosecuted. If accompanied by children, those kids could not be incarcerated with the adults. Since the policy was enacted in May, border agents have separated about 2,300 children from their families. Sanders' father, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, blessed the owners of Red Hen for their intolerance. Bigotry, Huckabee tweeted. On the menu at Red Hen Restaurant in Lexington, Virginia or you can ask for the hate plate. And appetizers are small plates for small minds. The brawl spilled onto Yelp, the ratings website. Some supporters of Sanders and Trump panned the restaurant, while their opponents backed the Red Hen and one complained of DH threats. Yelp stepped in and tried to referee. This business recently made waves in the news, which often means that people come to this page to post their views on the news, according to Yelp. While we don't take a stand one way or the other when it comes to these news events, we do work to remove both positive and negative posts that appear to be motivated more by the news coverage itself than the reviewer's personal consumer experience with the business. Trump's policy reversal has sent federal officials scrambling to accommodate families arrested at the border and held before their cases are heard by immigration officials. The Pentagon has identified bases near the border where as many as 20,000 people could be held. FT. Bliss near El Paso, Texas and the Mexican border has been identified as a likely venue for the temporary housing camps. All businesses should have a right to refuse service to anyone. No doubt about that. But with that right customers also have the right to boycott a business. And my estimation is this restaurant won't be having booming sales figures anytime soon. Even people who don't agree with the Donald Trump don't like this sort of bigotry against our president. And there was no reason whatsoever to kick out our press secretary. All that being said the left believes they are doing people a favor by doing things like this. But all they are doing is cementing the fact that we picked the right man for the job in 2016. After all, anyone who the mainstream media and the liberal elite hate so much means he's pretty good for us common folk. Don't you agree? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.